So this is a setup video for Madden NCAA, which is the uh, add-on for the uh, Heisman 14. Let's just check see here if it's uh, recording. So uh, you're going to need a couple of uh, downloads before uh, we begin. So download the... Uh, the uh, add-on, the NCAA add-on, download the uh, Heisman 14, the uh, add-on for the Heisman 14, download the uh, NCAA two half fields, the uh, field builders versions for the uh, NCAA add-on, and if you want to make fields for the uh, NCAA, NCAA add-on, Download the uh, True Turf. You're gonna need the uh, Seven Sip to unpack everything. You're gonna need a uh, U Mod. You're gonna need Cal Hoop Scripts, and then you're gonna need uh, the FCS uniforms by uh, Greya Twenty Three. Grab your sock Fifty Five. And sarcastic, sarcastic face. So, download all those. Uh, hold on, guys. I gotta answer this this phone call. All right. Sorry about that, guys. It's uh, I needed to answer that a uh, very important phone call. It was the uh, President of the United States. Okay. So once you have everything downloaded and unpacked, you go into the Heisman 14, go into the DAT, select all those files. You're going to copy those. You're going to go into the uh, Fresh install of uh, my documents Madden NFL 08 folder you need a fresh install no mods and you're gonna paste them in there or copy them You go into the uh, add-on. Let me go into the uh, N, uh, Heisman 14 add-on. We're going to copy that. that. Into the uh, My Documents, Man and Fellow 8. And then we go into the... They go into the uh, NCAA add-on. We're going to copy those dats into the My Documents. We go back to the uh, NCAA add-on folder, into the cust custom art, custom art. We're gonna press select all, and then we're gonna copy these, and we're gonna put those in the uh, Madden My Documents Madden NFL 08 custom art folder. 
and then we're gonna paste them there. Okay, we also need to copy two files from the uh, DVD disk and the uh, data2 folder. And um, if you have your disk put away, it should be in your programs files also. So you go to data2 folder. Nope, it's a data1 folder. You're going to need the uh, field art. And the uh, stadium dat files. We're gonna copy those two. I'm gonna copy that into my documents. Now we need to patch the files we go into the uh, NCAA add-on the temp folder and let's see uh, let's see which ones do we need we're gonna need all these files which are seven of them so we go into the uh, my documents man and a fellow eight since we already have two copied, we hold the control button down and we select the uh, the other ones. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm gonna cut those out. We go into the NCAA temp service pack 1a folder and we're gonna paste them in there somewhere So once we have those copied, we go back one, we start the uh, DVR4 exit file, select the middle button, we go into the service pack 1A folder, select the service 1 import, and that's going to patch our files for the uh, updated uh, stuff. And while it's doing that, uh, I want to mention that uh, there are some users that have contributed into the uh, the uh, NCAA add-on, like Rickster has uh, provided a, a DB file to hide the decals, the pants, and the torso decals. Uh, I'm using Vols1 roster that he put out uh, earlier this year with a uh, the most current college uh, players you know of course pick six for his uh, work and bring in the two fields and the uh, field builder fields which look real nice in game and the uh, Heisman team and the uh, Heisman add-on for uh, allowing us to use the uh, some of the uh, some of the uh, the files.
and and uh, we have new users that are making uniforms for uh, FCS teams and they also look sharp man it looks real nice we're almost done here so what's, once that's done close that up and let's go get back those files the patched files seven, seven of them one two three four five six seven we're gonna these puppies out and we're gonna put those in the documents man NFL 08 folder Once we have uh, those files back, we're going to start UMod. And uh, you don't need this program, but I use it because uh, it gives me like a one click uh, option to load up the, uh, the programs that I use for uh, Madden. Uh, but if you want to download it, it's in the utilities thread and the uh, Football Idiot site. So. Uh, like I said, I use UMod, and the quickest way I'm going to show you a quick uh, setup for UMod. So uh, to set up UMod to run Madden, you need to have that file in your system, not necessarily in the uh, download of UMod, but in your system. The only reason I have it here is. I copied into this folder is that sometimes I like to copy the folder into another computer laptop and I want to make sure I have that file there so as long as this file is in your system and if you don't have it download the latest direct X drivers it should be there the second thing is that you need to copy this file from the uh, UMOT folder into your directory where you have your main app file and I have it here but I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it again just gonna replace it so now that uh, we have uh, one last thing we gotta go to main we gotta add that uh, main app file which is right here now I I already have it set up so it's gonna tell me that it's it's already been added so um, once you do that you can start Madden So once you're in the main menu, select the main, uh, the uh, menu tab, the file, go to the uh, default roster in the bottom, and load it up. Just go back to the uh, main, main menu. You're going to have to Alt-Tab Out into UMod. Now I set up UMod to load all the uh, Heisman TPFs, um, Pick Six TPFs, and the uh, uniforms by Gray Up Twenty Three, 
grab your sock 55 and sarcastic face which you see here but you're gonna have you're gonna have a blank canvas and you click in there make sure you click on this one I already turned it off which is the support for TPF files and then you use the uh, open texture package to load up all your TPFs now what I did yeah uh, I turned these all off because I don't want any conflicts and I'll pick and choose whatever I need but uh, I just have them off and only have active the ones that are pretty much like on all the time and if you're familiar with the Heisman um, it's uh, it's basically the same thing it's just that you're just going to use U mod instead of text mod so let's uh, and I don't know how the videos are going to show up because I'm using uh, that camp studio which doesn't record pretty much doesn't record the uh, games pretty good but I'm going to try uh, you know you select the uh, I'm just going to show how to uh, select the, the textures. You have the, uh, I'm going to showcase the uh, LSU Tigers and the uh, Texas Anna Maggies because I want to, I want to highlight the field by uh, pick six. And we're going to use the, uh, TPF. Once you have all those textures you want, you right click and you and you update. So if you're familiar with Heisman, it's you know it's basically the same thing. So you know what guys I forgot one last one last step. Before before you do any of that, before you start selecting any of that, start your scripts. And the uh, main uh, scripts you need are the uh, remove ghost lines, which are the uh, NFL hash marks in the middle. And then you're going to need, you enable it, and then you're going to need the uh, NCAA rules. You have other options like television view or Super Bowl intro, but I'm just going to use these for now. Okay, now that we have the scripts running, we can uh, select the, uh, the stadiums. Which one was it up here? I think it was this one. All right, now you do that update. Now we can go back into uh, Madden. And I'm just going to preview the uniforms and the stadium because I don't think the uh, the game is going to show up anyway with the uh, I'm using that camp studio. All right. said we were going to use the Aggies, right? Okay, now with the uh, NCAA add-on, whenever you select teams, you got to select the stadium as well. And I have like a little guide. In, and in order to have the uh, FBS and FCS teams all in one file, I needed to remove the name, the stadium names that the Heisman put in their rosters. I didn't take away anything. 
I just removed the names. All the stadiums are there. You can still use the stadium TPFs. You just got to select the proper stadium. So for LSU, they set up the uh, Bills Stadium. And not only do you need to select the stadium, also select the weather conditions. Because uh, upper New York, you'll probably have snow in those uh, colder months. And you probably won't have any snow down in uh, Baton Rouge. So uh, select your weather conditions as well. So let's, uh, let's preview the stadium. I'm going to pan out. You can see a pick six field and the uh, graphics, the stadium graphics from the Heisman 14. So right away you can see those two mods merge into one mod. And uh, if you notice, the two half fields, one side is purple, one side is yellow. And another thing about the uh, NCAA add-on is that you can have weather uh, fields like rain, snow, and, you know, the fair field. You'll have to make them now. So, and let me see, uh, let me just preview the uh, uniforms. One other thing is that if you preview a, uh, a stadium, you'll have to reselect the team. I don't know why it does that, but you just do. The stadium's already selected. Let's look at the uniforms. Got it right there. LSUs. There we are. And let's let's see if it looks alright. I doubt it though. So when you play the game with the uh, sounds and everything, music from the Heisman, you know, you get the, that college experience. Using Vols roster, the Heisman TPFs, and pick six field, it just, it just looks nice. We'll do a play or two, and then I'll showcase the uh, FCS teams.
that's how you do the uh, FBS, FBS teams. So once again, if you're familiar with uh, Heisman 14, it's not much of a big difference in how you set up the uh, TPF files. Now with the uh, FBS teams, it's really not that much of a difference either. On the uniforms, all you got to do is just select one uniform set, either the road team or the or the uh, home team. You can select both like in the Heisman. If you notice, the Heisman actually has like uh, four or five teams and all of them are active at the same time. With the FCS teams, you can't do that. And the reason is that in order to have all these teams in one file, you need to um, kind of like sacrifice the stadium names. So every everything can fit in there. So I'm going to sh showcase uh, one of the F uh, FCS teams. And I'm going to use the... Uh, Is there a team you guys like in here? Let me see. Uh, let me use the Chattanooga mocks. And uh, I don't know if you notice. This is the Chattanooga away and home. Either select one or the other. Do not select them both. If you want to use the away, it's got to look like that. But we're going to use the uh, home for Chattanooga. And then uh, we'll put them against um, the spiders. What do you guys think? There. We're going to use the away. Richmond as the uh, away team. And these don't have uh, stadiums like the Heisman 14. But they do have their... Um, their field art. So once you select it, you update it. And just switch back to Madden. So the uh, Chattanooga is in, uh, not Chattanooga, yeah, Chattanooga mock. And then the coastal. They would say it was the spiders. So, um, you know, like I said, uh, these teams don't come with a stadium, so I assign them to have a generic feel from the Heisman 14, which kind of represents. A lot of the high school, not the high school, but you know, college uh, stadiums out there. So, but if someone ever makes a TPF or a stadium, you just go into the stadium and and select that stadium. Look at the uniform real quick here. Nice. And I. Let's do the same thing with this one. Let's just make a play or two and then we'll just exit out. Let's get today's game started. 
So I don't know if you guys noticed the uh, the field still has a half of a LSU. That's because, uh, like I mentioned earlier, before um, before doing that stuff, uh, clicking on and off uh, textures to st start the script first. So I don't know if uh, you guys heard me, but if you notice on the field there, uh, half of it was uh, still uh, LSU's, and that is when uh, when I mentioned earlier about not clicking on the uh, textures un until you uh, put the uh, scripts first. For some reason, uh, it kind of locks in those uh, those textures in their way if you don't run the uh, script first. So make sure that you run. Uh, The script first and when you exit uh, Madden and the scripts uh, do it the, other, the backward also so the first program that we started was uh, the scripts so that's the one we close first and then we close Madden and you notice how uh, you mod automatically took off the uh, the template that I had there so in review guys uh, you start you mod first you start Madden you start the scripts once the scripts are loaded you can check on and off the textures that you need so we're done with that so um, when I was talking about the uh, the guide you go you go into the uh, NCAA add-on you go to docs folder and you have a list of the stadiums you need to use to use the uh, TPF from the Heisman and I think I need to re uh, revise this because I think I noticed one or two that were not correct or a couple of them that weren't, weren't correct but that's pretty much how you set it up and play with the uh, FCS teams and uh, if you have any further questions, uh, just uh, ask and I'll see if I can answer them. Till next time, guys.